एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Yeah, well, it's pro- probably only the second time I've done it. Yeah, those last five, it's um, I suppose it just comes down to the situation, conditions suiting, and um, Sydney's been a place where I've been um, been able to have a bit of success in the past. It's a great wicket to bat on. I um, always feel like there's a lot of space out there, and um, and when it's time to go, you can always um, try and find that short boundary. But um, but yeah, it's been nice to sort of get a bit of momentum in one day cricket. Um, I think the word consistency gets thrown around a lot, um, and sometimes not easy to find consistency in the lower order. But when the top order is doing their job as well as they are at the moment, um, it makes my role a lot easier down the bottom. In terms of uh, the two team batting performances in the last three days, has it almost been the perfect template for building a, a 50 over innings? Yeah, it certainly has. And um, when you've got a guy like Steve Smith coming in and getting 100 off 62 balls. Um, it's it's pretty special to watch, and um, it feels like we're just setting the pa- platform beautifully, weathering that early storm, and um, and the opening partnership has just been sensational for us. I saw some stats that they're um, they're right up there with with two of the best openers that we've ever had. So uh, for them to continue their their form on, they've been they've been brilliant for us for a long period of time, and um, to have um, Smith go out there and score another hundred and and just do what he does is is been brilliant as well. You mentioned the sort of the gaps in the field and the size of these grounds that you play on here. Is that, is that a sort of crucial difference? You see a lot of guys clearing the boundary and hitting the boundary, but being able to knock the ball into those gaps and get twos, which their batsmen don't seem to be able to do as easily here. They sort of it's all or nothing for them in a way. Is that something that's important? Oh, uh, maybe. Um, I think the pace of the wickets probably helps as well. Um, even even today's was actually probably a little bit slower than the last week. I thought I thought the first week it was a bit better than that one today, but. Um, yeah, just the the way it's sort of um, you set your angles to the to the size of the boundaries, and um, it's sometimes difficult because the ball races away um, down the hill. Um, so yeah, I, I think it just probably comes down more to your angles in the field and being able to uh, tighten those gaps and make it harder for batters to, um, I suppose, hit those gaps. Glenn, um, w- when you're in the field, there you were sort of there to to help David Warner off the field. Um, have you heard anything? Since you came off the field, about um, you know what's uh, what the severity of the injury, and yeah, did it sort of it, it seemed pretty bad, I guess, the, the way you guys were helping him off the field. Yeah, well, I haven't seen him or, or heard anything since I've been off the field, and um, I only sort of ran off, did my concussion test, and then uh, came <laughs> back here. So I haven't really, um, yeah, haven't heard anything. I haven't haven't seen anything from Davy, but hopefully he can. Um, you can, the scan comes back and it's okay, but um, yeah, it didn't look good there. He was in a lot of pain, Maxi. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he didn't really want me to carry him off, and um, that didn't help that he's a lot shorter than me and couldn't reach up. But <laughs> um, but yeah, I, 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 yeah, he seemed like he was in a bit of pain, and um, but yeah, ho- hopefully the scans come back and it's not too bad, and he can rest up and get himself right. Just in the last maybe 12 months or so, it looks like you've opened up your stance a little more. Uh, can you just talk about it? Is it just like to get a freer swing? Uh, yeah, a, a little bit. I don't think it's so much my swing. It's more um, just getting my head level and uh, my, both my eyes working to, at the same time. I just felt like when I was side on, um, as silly as it sounds, it felt like my left eye was slightly closer to the action. So if, I think if I looked at it like this, I couldn't actually get this eye level with my other eye. I felt like I just didn't quite have the depth perception right. So I just tried a few things in the nets and tried an open stance and found that that really helped me pick up the ball a little bit easier. And um, it might not look like a traditional technique, but um, for me, it, it works. I was able to pick up um, short pitch bowing a lot easier, uh, pick up length, um, uh, it just it just made it made batting a little bit easier for me, but um, it's certainly not what I'd recommend for everyone. Steve Smith has you know been in the one day side for a while, pretty much kind of as the accumulator. He's gone and scored the third fastest ODI ton by an Australian twice in a row. Did you guys know he kind of had this game in him, or is it surprised even you? No, no, we knew he had it in him. Um, as he as he said the other day, he found his hands and. Um, it's looking pretty scary at the moment for opposition teams. He's he's placing the ball as well as 
as anyone around the world. And um, and when he puts the foot down, he he goes and goes hard. And he's still hitting the ball in the gaps. He's it's not like he's hitting the ball straight over the field of his heads. He's still um, picking his spots. He's calculated, and he just looks like he's got so much time at the moment. And um, I think you, I, I, a lot of the time you're judging by the, the way he starts his innings, and he's just started by hitting the middle of the back consistently. He walks across his stumps, he's gone from fourth stump just outside off and works it behind square, and he just looks to have so much time and um, looks really calm at the crease at the moment. Hey, Glenn, you mentioned the concussion test after the game. Um, just wondering, that the bouncer blow itself, was it, did it rattle you at all? Sort of, um, yeah. Uh, not really. Uh, it was a slowable bumper and it just came off the wicket a lot slower than I thought. And um, yeah, just head butted it, which was silly of me. But um, I still wanted the run. Uh, I wanted to get up the other end and keep the scoreboard ticking, but um, got to look at the next one at least. Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.